I think about recently a woman here in our church led by the scriptures reached out to a, a sister who was estranged for the last 10 years. And the prompting of the Holy Spirit said, I think now would be a good time for you to reach out to her. She said, okay, I will. She offered her peace, mercy, forgiveness. They began working those things through and the healing has begun and visits are now planned because see, that's how God works. He leads us to that, not to cut people out of our life and say, you don't exist anymore, to delete you from my life. No, 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 he shows us how we can actually mend the brokenness that's in our lives. Can somebody give applause to God for any of this stuff? Because this is where the Bible leads us. This is what scripture gives to us. This is where Jesus leads us, the heart of God. Here's our key thought, number one. The heart of God revealed in the Bible untangles our knots. We've got a lot of knots. Our generation's full of knots. And I'm not gonna tell you that, you know, today's message is gonna fix all that because the nation isn't listening in. But everywhere you go, whether you're in person or whether you're online, you are meant to bring the kingdom of God with you. And as far as it goes with you, whether you're in your home, whether you're at your place of work, whether you're at Safeway in aisle 17, you are meant to bring the kingdom of God with you and never, ever forget it. And let the trouble in your heart, the empathy for other people be your motivation for any opportunity that God would bring your way to share hope in Jesus' name because it's a thing that so many people are looking for. This topic of the Bible, it is a hot topic. And here's what I wanna say. You and I have no reason to fear the questions that people ask about the Bible, even the cynical ones. We don't need to fear those questions. We have the answers. It's not like we don't have the answers for the Bible and its credibility and its authority and why we can have absolute trust in it. We don't, we don't have any issues with that. We just, as a collective generation, actually don't know the answers to those. I wanna be able to equip you for that. And I wanna equip you in a way that you can actually share it with others. That's why we keep our notes on our app. You can go to the app, look at the notes there. They're there for a reason so that you can use them to help other people. In fact, I get excited when people start asking questions about scripture and about our faith because I know that we can have confidence in the source. I know that we can have confidence in the source. So today, we're not gonna get through all the notes. I want you to know, so the next couple of weeks, we're gonna be spending time on this. We're gonna look at some facts. We're gonna look at a little bit of history. Of course, we're looking to scripture. Here's what 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16 says about Scripture about the heart of God revealed in Scripture. All Scripture is inspired by God. It is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. Oh, yeah, it's good at that one. It's good at that. Yes? When you read Scripture, we read it and we say, yep, yesterday did not line up with that. So... It corrects us, if I will be corrected. That is the point. When we are wrong, it corrects us. It teaches us what to do, what is right. In a generation that's full of people who are telling you what's right, what's wrong, what's right, what's wrong, they're all contradicting each other. Who in the world are you supposed to listen to? The so-called authorities of our day. Pick one. But that authority does not line up with the heart of God who created you and knows you intimately and intricately. Every atom of your body, every cell of your body, if it, if it doesn't match up with what God has to say, I know where I'm going because there's only one who's resurrected. And I can tell you that whatever authority that you're talking to is gonna die. They're gonna put him or her in a grave and they are not coming back. The only thing that's gonna live is their book, which might not be worth reading all that much. Okay, there's a lot of good information out there. There's a lot of wisdom. I'm not gonna say that there isn't. I know that there is. People stumble across the truths of God all the time. I mean, it's, it's self-revealing in so many ways, as scripture even says to us, but scripture actually leads us, and we don't have to take the long route to get to it, because scripture is so plain, so clear to teach us what is right 
God uses it to prepare and equip his people to do every good work. I wanna be clear about something. It says all scripture. Um, all scripture does not mean that an apostle wrote it. It doesn't mean that an apostle wrote it. All scripture uh, means that an apostle wrote it inspired of the Holy Spirit teaching us about Jesus. If we were to uncover today some archeological find, it's gonna show up on all the news networks, a letter from Paul, or I should say a parchment paper of Paul has been found, the great apostle, and it is his shopping list. And on it, we have found that he loved sardines and he loved olive oil. And there's a few other things on that list that does not become scripture. That is a shopping list from somebody who is notable in scripture. But that is not scripture. It is scripture because it is inspired of the Holy Spirit led by God and, and it is here to teach us about Jesus, his life and his teachings. That's what we find in the New Testament. We're gonna talk about the Old Testament as well, uh, not this week, but next week, and we'll be bringing these things together. But when we see scripture, what we know is that it's powerful and God uses it for this purpose. And all devoted followers of Jesus if we fail to know the facts, it's easier for somebody else to tell us what the actual story is, and we can easily believe it. But if we know the story, then we get to tell the real story to anyone who will listen.